Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris from LeanSound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create tape folders from Logic Studio. Let's check it out. So the first thing to keep in mind when doing a tape folder is that you need to have the tape folder option on in the record settings. To do that, simply go to the top left corner, click on settings, scroll down to recording, and make sure under MIDI, under overlapping recordings, simply select create tape folders. Now once you've done that, you can X out of there. And now I'm just going to record a few tapes just to A, show you how to do that. Then I'll afterwards show you how to navigate through the tape folder options. Okay, so let's get recording. Alright, clearly not the most interesting stuff, but it'll get the point across. Alright, so if you see this arrow right here at the top left of your region, simply select that. Now you can see all of your re all of the tapes that you just recorded. Whichever tape you have selected is the tape that is going to be in the top up here, which is what's going to be playing in your session. Now all the tapes are being shown right now, but they're all within they're all within this track, so they're basically being layered right now. Then it's just showing you what's under it. So none of this is gonna be playing. It's only this. So just whichever one you have selected is gonna be what's gonna be played. Now also there's another arrow up here, which you can do kind of the same thing. Select different tapes by the names, by the file names, see tape 2, alright. Now you can also rename the individual tapes if you want to do that. Then you also have a few other options, the flatten, unpack, unpack to new tracks, which all do more or less the same thing. And basically what this does, I'll click unpack, is it shows you all the regions, except now now they're all in their own now they're all in their own different tracks and you can't really just so there's no more arrows on the left corner or or on the right corner too for that matter so now they're just being treated like individual tracks so you can't just throw them all back under here so i'm just going to undo that and but if you use this if you use this arrow down here you can do a few editing options too. Let's like say I want the beginning of this take. So I'm just going to simply cut after there. Then I want the middle of this take. So I'm going to select that. See that this take is still here. But this take is now taking up the whole thing. The whole rest of this region. But I don't want the end of this. I kind of messed up at the end. So simply cut there again. And now I want to have the end be this one. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave this one out because it was kind of just a mistake. I didn't mean to use it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. No harm, no foul. It's not going to show up in, in the final product. So it doesn't really matter that it's still there. Unless you're really worried about CPU power. Then having like a little extra something might take might take up a little bit. But, it's, but in the end, it's still not going to take up that much space like no matter and so now just undo those arrows and as you can see each cut of each region now has its own arrows on both the left and right side so undo that and here you are you have a new region using three of your four different takes and it's as simple as that